Today on the channel, grab your mom's makeup, as today on the channel we unbox the G.I. Joe Classified series, Cover Girl. The Here and welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe classified series unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got one of the holy trinity of G.I. Joe females, as we've got Cover Girl. But for all your Cover Girl needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code 8 off DJC to save 8% off your total order. And that's exactly where I picked up Cover Girl and these new Joes at. They do have those shipping right now. So today we look at Cover Girl, and I always kind of say the holy trinity of the female Joes, at least in the beginning, was Cover Girl, Scarlet, and Lady J. And I got to think Cover Girl, basically the least popular of the three. And I think a lot of that has to do with her original action figure coming with a vehicle. Wasn't it the Wolverine, I believe it was, back in the day? So a lot of people didn't have Cover Girl, or maybe they had Scarlet Lady J, because guess what? Parents are more apt to buy you a single figure than a whole vehicle and a figure. That's just the way it went in the 80s, and it probably goes that way right now. But Cover Girl, always a little bit forgotten in that kind of group there. And Cover Girl's had some changes over the years. Sometimes she's blonde, sometimes she's red-haired, kind of all over the map here. But we get more of the brownish red hair today in the Classified Series line. And we're going to do this review like we do all all the other reviews here on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there we'll do some comparisons at the end of this video stay tuned for that but there's old cover girl in the package and this is the most god-awful artwork ever well I don't know about god-awful, but I've said it before in some of these classified reviews, I really wish the artwork was more uniform. It's just really all over the place, and I feel like this artwork doesn't represent the toy line or the action figure very well to me. You know, your mileage may vary. You can be different. That's my opinion, though. I just feel like this just doesn't fit the motif of the G.I. Joe Classified series. It's just a little too cartoony here for me. Uh, I don't mind some cartoony artwork, but this is almost where it's like campy, like really little kid artwork or something like that. And yes, it's a kid's toy. I understand that. But it just feels very, very different for me. And it's just not for me. And I guess I'm lucky I'm an out-of-box collector as I will be recycling this uh, later today. So there you go. But you got the G.I. Joe logo right down there. You do got her name on here. Courtney Covergirl Krieger, and I'm once again, I can't remember her real name. I think that's probably it, but I'm not really sure. But it does have her full name on here. On the side, she is number 59 in the line. Oh boy, 59. And then you get some of that same artwork on the other side. And then the back, no cross sell, no blurb, no file card, just a bunch of jibber jabber down low and a little bit of uh, glamour shots of the actual figure you're supposed to get in the package here. So there it is. Not a lot going on here for CoverGirl, but I got to tell you, the figure looks amazing. Artwork just doesn't feel like it even represents the figure. It's just very, very strange to me. I don't know. Your mileage, like I said, will vary on that. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I don't like the looks of this. Look at this, right out of the package. I got a broken arm. She got her arm chopped off. I believe I could put that back in, but you never want that right out of the package. That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? That's some hard times, some hard times for Cover Girl right there. Ooh, ooh, is that what I get for talking bad about the artwork here? Well, see you later, artwork. Get out of here if that's the way you're going to be. But now that worries me. Hopefully I can get that arm back on. I should be able to. I should be able to, but eh, you never know. We might have an Omega Spawn meltdown if it doesn't go back on. But you do get the Courtney Covergirl Krieger locker right here. She can lock all of her stuff away. Always say I do like this. This is a, a nice little addition to the collection here. We do get the parchment paper here. We'll see what's going on for the accessories for Covergirl. Hopefully a bandage for her broken arm. We'll see what happens with this. See you later. Goodbye. And I'm going to cut her out of the cardboard prison. Cut her out of these rope vines. Get her out of here. And let's see what's going on with old Courtney. See you later. Goodbye. And pull these ropes on. See you later. Goodbye. And all right. Can I get this arm back on? This better just snap right back in. And oh my gosh. All is right in the world. All is better. Snaps right back in there, which I guess playability feature. You could have her get her arm chopped off by Storm Shadow or something. You could be real grim in your playing days. I, I was not a, uh, opposed to that when I was a little kid. As this arm just falls, the other arm just fell off on me. What are we doing here? So it's a little crazy, but it does just wiggle its way out, but it is tight enough. So very, it almost feels like it needs to be detachable. It's like a detachable arm that you could have her remove. But uh, I got to say, it doesn't fall out or anything, but a little twist and stuff, you can pull it out. But... 
is what it is. Crisis averted, I will say. You never like to open up the pot package, though, and see an arm just laying there. Not a good look. Not a good look, as we do know. But let's take a look at these uh, accessories here for CoverGirl. And, of course, she was working on the Wolverine. She needs a wrench. So we got a wrench here. Uh, very interesting. It looks like uh, the wrench I was using when I was installing a new mailbox. My wife and I put a new mailbox in this week. It was an exciting adventure, let me tell you. A lot of fun. But uh, we used a wrench to put that together. And now we can uh, commemorate the event with a wrench in toy form. All black. Would have liked to see the silver wrench. You don't see a ton of black wrenches out there. Primarily, they are silver, so uh, it would look better silver. But it's cool. It's a new accessory. I'm here for that. And it's kind of on brand with CoverGirl working mechanics and stuff like that on the Wolverine and other vehicles along the way. Then it looks like we get a little cell phone for her. I'm going to call it a cell phone, or maybe it's technically probably an iPad or a mini iPad, something like that. Uh, but once again, it's a, a nice little accessory here. Something different, something we haven't gotten in the past, so I do like that. Then we got two weapons, and I'm happy she has some weapons with her. Get a nice little handgun action here. Love the silver on top of the black, the old silver black attack. Brings a lot more personality out to the weapon, that is for sure. And then you, in the end, you got a spot for an effect piece. G.I. Joe needs to sell maybe a Hasbro Pulse exclusive of effect pieces. Put those in the end. Uh, maybe that would be something they could do shortly for us because we got a lot of weapons now. We need to have some firepower with them. So we'll see if that happens. And then you get a long rifle here. Once again, really good. You got the green and black. I love it when they put extra colors on these. Helps dress these up a little bit, but it's a nice shotgun. Uh, very nice. Once again, I believe first time in the line. So I'm always here for first time in the line stuff. And first time in the line figures like CoverGirl. So now we got CoverGirl out of the package. Feels very similar to other Joes we've had in the line. It is a female, of course, at the end of the day. Love the brown bomber jacket on her. She's got a little, it looks almost like a wolf. Is it a Wolverine? I'm not sure exactly what that is, but she does have that on her shoulder. Looks like a wolf of some sort or something, but it's a nice red color insignia against the brown kind of bomber jacket, I guess we'd call it. Even has the fur up there around the top. Looking really good. I'm a big fan of those jackets in real life and in action figure form, so it does look really nice. She's even got her little uh, sweatbands there. I believe that's what that is. Yep, she's got that there. And then one or both hands are gloved. She's got the gloved hands here, of course, working mechanic. Doesn't want to cut her hands up and stuff. She's working under there. Uh, does have a belt on her that is uh, flowing around. It's not removable. Well, you, got, you guys know what I mean. It can be if you really want to remove it, but it's not. It's just free floating there. You got a spot for a holster on the side. I guess we could put a wrench right here on the side there. Uh, you can put her little cell phone iPad over here. You can put her pistol right here. So I love to be able to store all the stuff on the figure, as you guys know. No backpack for CoverGirl, nothing like that on this figure. Uh, but you got the holsters and all that. And then you get down to the brown boots. Nice green there on the uh, guards on the boots. So it looks really tough. I mean, she definitely looks like somebody that's getting on a plane. She's going to fly a bomber plane. Or she's going to be a mechanic working on the Wolverine, for instance. It, she does have that feel to her. And I love the tan kind of drab colors. Uh, really do pop really good. And then you get down to the head sculpt on her. She looks like she's had some work done. Maybe she's had, applying the CoverGirl makeup on top of her face. But she's got a little bit of a... Kind of that plastic surgery cat-like face to her a little bit. Maybe that's just me. Uh, I don't know. She's got the big red lips there. The very thinning in the eyes and the nose. But still does look really, really good. The short haircut there and the reddish kind of brown auburn. Auburn? Anybody hear auburn? Uh, we'll do an auburn hair color on her. It does look good, but she just does look. And I just knocked that arm right off again. Uh, so it fits on there. It's pretty good. It's tight. I can move it. But if you just bend it just a little bit, it'll fall right off. So be interested to hear from some of you guys and gals out there if you have this cover girl, if you have that kind of same thing. Because if you turn it and you push over at the same time, it will just pop out on you. And maybe some heat could tighten that up, I'm sure. Uh, the other side, yeah, same thing for the other side too. So I don't know. Your mileage may vary on your cover girl. Uh, it's not a game changer. It's not the end of the world. It's not broken or anything. It's just a little bit of an annoyance. Or it's real fun. Like I said, if you're playing, she's getting her arm chopped off in every battle I'm having. But let's walk through the articulation here. Once again, you try to bend it just to the side. It'll pop right out on you. But the arm does go all the way around. You get the bicep cut. There it is right there where it connects. Very, very loose. But you pull on it. You just got to bend it at the right angle and it'll pop out. Double jointed, pinless elbows. I'm here for that. You guys know that one. Uh, hands back and forth, side to side. Nice trigger fingers on both hands for her. Head back and forth, side to side. No real limitations on the head because of the short hair. Gets a lot of down look on her. Uh, looking really good. You got the double, you got the neck uh, ball joint and the head ball joint on her for extra movability. You do get a nice hula hoop at the waist. All kinds of movement out of that. Then you get the traditional waist on top of there. So plenty of articulation. Big old cover girl splits right there if she needs to jump over a missile. 
Of course, you got the drop down hips that leads you to the big front, big back, all kinds of articulation at the legs. Do we got thigh cut? No thigh cut on the female. Oh, there it is. Just hidden very well behind her uh, holsters on the side. So I do appreciate that, as I always do say. Double jointed pinless knees. Got the boot cut. Got the ankles back and forth side to side. A lot of good articulation on this. And I do like this figure. The face a little bit interesting, but not a game changer, not a, a deal breaker for me. My biggest gripe, obviously, going to be the arm on this one. Uh, but it is not the end of the world. It's truly not the end of the world. Does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? i got to make sure i got the right one. Uh, a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Look at that, fits like a glove. She fits perfectly on there, looking really, really good. Like I said, I like the figure. I like what this represents. Didn't care for the packaging. No big deal, I got rid of it. Uh, don't care for the arm, which is very strange, but your mileage may vary. It's probably just mine or a select few, possibly. I don't know, but it isn't the end of the world for me. But I do like this figure a whole lot, and I'm always happy to build out my Joe team. You guys know that with some new new players in the Joe Fig Fed is what we have here with Cover Girl. But how about a few comparisons? We talked about the uh, trinity of Joe girls. You got Scarlet, you got Lady J. Would love to see the G.I. Joe classified line, line run back Scarlet, do a different Scarlet. I'd be here for that. I'd love to see a different uh, interpretation than this very kind of early childhood one, it almost feels like. It feels like she's right out of high school. Uh, but you got the three right there, the three most famous Joe gals, I think, on the Joe side. So we got those. Uh, of course, Zarana, you got to have her, one of the more recent ones, an absolute game changer figure. Absolutely love this. One of the top Joe figures of last year, of course, is Zarana. You can see how they kind of compare up. How about a little Action Force comparison? Pandora stealing a lot of hearts all across the country. Uh, we do have her here lined up. As you can see, the Action Force and the Classified series meld very, very well together. And then the guy that steals all our, all the hearts, including mine, we've got to put our boy Flint in here just for a male comparison. So there's a little Flint. Flint and his bevy of beauties. Uh, Flint's angels, we'll call these right here. The cover girl, it's good, bad, and the ugly, but I'm here for it. I like what I see. Just a few quality control issues and a few packaging issues, uh, if you're me. Maybe not necessarily you. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? What are your thoughts on cover girl? You picking this up? You playing the long game? You passing? Would you agree she is the holy trinity of the three uh, female Joe members, especially early on? I don't think there's too much doubt in that, but I'd love to hear your guys' take in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video, give it the old thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. Yes, and then some. We got plenty of content here. We got even more content for you on the Patreon, early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, Q&As, giveaways, you name it. Best of all, you do support the channel over on the Patreon. You can also support the channel at Search Kyle Peterson and hit me up and follow along over there on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for cover girl and makeup wearers everywhere, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.